There are rumors around that this is Britain's revenge for the Boston Tea Party. 3,000 screaming teenagers are at New York's Kennedy Airport to greet, you guessed it, the Beatles. This rock and roll group has taken over as the kingpins of musical appreciation among the younger element. Some music critics call their harmony unmistakably diatonic. Others say it's pandiatomic. Parents say it's just plain pandemonium. Their first meeting with the American press brings forth an interview laced with quips and humor. You'd laugh, too, with a gross of $17 million last year. New York City cops are hard-pressed protecting the Beatles at their hotel. On every side, there is hero worship that recalls the heydays of Elvis Presley and Frank Sinatra. With one Beatle bedded with a sore throat, three of the quartet take an airing in Central Park. There was absolutely no truth to the rumor that the zoo's laughing hyena was driven underground.